everybody, and welcome to my FTB Let's Play University 1.16 episode 105 series. That is such a mouthful every time. So, today's episode, we are going to completely finish up with Applied Energistics, because we only have a few things, and I have all the materials for, so this episode's going to be longer than 10 minutes, just letting you know. Um, I did a lot of stuff, and I mean a lot of stuff. So, we'll start off with... My ME system has increased, so I have so many ME controllers attached to so many ME dense smart cables. They all have pretty much their own separate channels, and I now have like 20, I used to have 29, I don't know what happened to them. Uh, they used to be 29. I don't know, it's it's kind of a weird bug, because if I like move this, it, you know, move like one of these ME controllers, and then put them back, it refreshes like how many channels there are. Completely understandable. I don't necessarily need to do that. Because I think it's just taking a lot of the extra ones out. And if, you know, if I see something that, uh, you know, if, uh, that I made as a recipe and I couldn't find it, I'll figure it out later. Usually, it works. It just works. So, I also attached a bunch of ME interfaces to all of these smeltery items that I needed. So I also made an ultimate smeltering factory and a crushing factory because I really didn't want to connect those over there. Um, so yeah, I did that as well. Um, so now I, I'm able to basically produce what I needed to produce and whatnot. So there's that. Also, I went ahead. I'm going to go forward a little bit. I went ahead into environmental tech and went up to tier five, fourth tier of the miner. I'll tell you why. Because it's pretty much the same thing. And I feel like you guys do not want to see the same episode over and over again of just me upgrading the miner. So I will tell you what I did. I basically made it bigger, obviously. Every time you upgrade, it gets bigger. I added a bunch of modifiers to it that are fourth tier a bunch of us uh, accelerators frequency modifiers really and bandwidth modifiers bandwidth modifiers basically increases the jobs coming from uh the void miner and holy cow it's it's a it's not as quick as the builder but it's pretty quick and it's always just mining ore constantly and i'll tell you what it's insane because I've only left this on for about a whole day. And I now have 406k lapis lazuli because I put a blue lens on. Um, <laughs> 160k coal. Uh, I now have a, uh, a bunch of diamonds. 16,000 diamonds. It's 6,000 emeralds. I actually have a lot of emeralds now. So I do not have to worry about emeralds ever again. Um... Yeah, I forgot to mention, if you put a different lens, it will mine more of that certain item. Um, say, if you want to put cyan on there, when you put cyan on there, it will basically start mining diamond and lapis lazuli. It's really cool. Um, also, I was a little ostentatious, and I built myself a block of diamond road. Not even kidding. I, I don't know why, I just I wanted something pretty. The uh, road here was really, really ugly, so I decided to uh, make it flashy. Uh, I also made some iron plate roads towards my uh, mob factory. That's what I'm going to call it, the mob factory. So, yeah, I did that. Also, when I connected the ME controller here, well, when I did, I don't know what happened. There was actually a channel that ran all the way out here, which was kind of crazy to me. Like, it was actually, there was a connected channel when the last time I played. So, that was really cool for a while, I guess. Um, I guess it has a lot to do with just updating and whatnot. Let's see, actually, I'm curious. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Let's, no, 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 no. Let's get rid of this one. And then connect it. See if this works. Because if you connect those, maybe that might help. No, I don't know. 
I will figure it out in the future. So, anyways, another thing, too. I noticed that it would be would have been easier to mine items and go put it straight into the AE system. That's why you see these are a bunch of orange and one is red. Let me tell you, I have more items than just what I have in the QIO dashboard now. I have a lot of items in the AE system. The way I did it was I took, instead of just like, I could have I could have used a, what is it import is it importer or is it exporter importer and just attach it to this instead I just used the QIO importer switch that QIO importer to the second QIO drive array that I have it will take it into the QIO drive array and then get sucked out from another. Uh, ex, uh, from another QIO exporter into this crystal chest. See? But before it gets sucked out... Actually, wait a minute. Before it gets sucked out, that actually goes into the main system, processes the ore, and then it takes it out from the QIO importer as well. Straight into that chest. Yeah. So I did that. Uh, I also decided to fill up the induction matrix. I finally did it. So I'm up to 70.40 TFE. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's trillion or or something something of a bigger number. Uh, leave in the comments below well, if you actually know. That would be great. I mean, seriously, that would be great. But yeah, it's uh, filled to the broom with ultimate induction cells. I did that as well. What else did I do? That is uh, mind-blowing. Also, I made a second induction matrix. Not for this one, but for my other energy. I made a smaller one. I did it to be able to just have a little bit of a backup energy, just in case. It's, it's not charging as much as it should, due to the fact that it's always constantly taking energy from the Void Miner. Which actually is around 10,000 RF per tick, which is nothing for these. Um, yeah. I mean, I could add it to the main system and it would be fine too. But yeah, did that. Um, wow. Anything else? Anything else? I cannot think. Hmm. Okay. You know what? If I can't think it, I will always say it in the next episode. Because today... We are finishing, completely finishing, Applied Energistics. I think it's time to finish this up, get it done and over with. And I'm going to properly explain all the items that I'm going to uh, make. So first things first, we will start with um, the Quantum Network Bridge. This is a phenomenal item, because what, what it does is that it connects to your ME controller, and then you could take another ring attach it anywhere else in the world, and now you have connection to your first ME system. Basically. Uh, I might just use it for the main base, if this thing doesn't kick back on. So we will make that first. Alright, first things first, we need the Quantum Link Chamber, which... I'm going to make one of these. Cool. Task is complete. And then a Quantum Ring. Also, I made all the materials in the off cam because I figured it'd be really boring to watch. And then the quantum entangle singularity, which I can't make in the crafting table, I have to create I have to make eh, I have to drop one singularity and one ender dust and cause an explosion. So that's why I have these items here. For the advancement quantum tunneling. Look at that. And all I need is that. Oh I need to make eight of those. Uh oh. I made a mistake. I you know it isn't me if I don't make one mistake. So I'm going to need quite a couple of energy cells and a quite a couple of fluix dust. Lovely. Okay. That's why. Uh, let's make 41. Okay. I'll make about 41 dust. That should work. And while that's happening, I can make this bad boy explode. So first thing first, we'll get rid of the skeleton who has full gold armor. Okay, so we just need that, that, and oh, we need flint and tinder. 
that can cause the explosion. Ah, my trusty flint and tinner. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Ender dust. Oh, wait. I take off my boots, too. Ender dust. Singularity. And then TNT, and bam. Let's get away. And boom! We now made it. We made Quantum Entangled in Singularity. We made that. Could you, could you leave me alone? I know I haven't slept for three days, but, like, it's getting annoying. Like, you, you can poss can't possibly kill me. <laughs> so. I'm gonna have to make a couple of these. We need seven. Okay, we got about four. Dang it! This stupid nether got stuff. I think about 31 has that. It's so cool seeing the process of this happen. Alright, I'm gonna have four. So I need three more. Oops. Well, I need five more now. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, need five more. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oops, I made I made eight. Why did I make eight? Whoops. Oh well. That's fine. Three. Oh no. I uh, okay. This is gonna be a little bit tougher than I thought. Make about twenty-one of those, and then I'm gonna need ME glass cables, which the ME system should have. But you know how the ME system is around here. Okay. <sighs> this is definitely gonna. Let's see, glass cables. Yep, I should be able to grab, uh, craft them, but you know, it's like, I um, just want to be lazy today. Let's see, where are you? Cool. And now I'm out of that. Jeez. Jeez, it's crust. There, I have plenty now. Okay. Hmm. I'll make five. That might help. Actually, yeah, I only need one, so. Yeah, I only need about five anyways. Oops. Alright, am I, am I back on track here? No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that I could just make processors like that now. Uh, they were such a meticulous thing to make. There, I made eight. Finally. Quantum Network Bridge complete. So, uh, let's, let's grab our rewards here. And you know what? I will make this. So we need eight, right? One, two, three, four. I think this is how you make it. No, it is like this. No, it's not like that. Not at all. It is like that. And then you take this quantum link chamber, put it here, and bam. All you need is this. 
And then... We need some cables. Ah, oh, perfect. I had so many cables in my other system. Yeah, that's going to be a huge issue. Uh, should I put... Yeah. Okay, and then a smaller cable. There you go. That is connected. I think. Or it might need power too. I don't remember if it needed power or not. But I'm going to give it power. Just uh No, it does not need power. Okay. It does need a magnetic card, doesn't it? Or is that a different item? I think that was a different item. And then, I don't know where to put this other one. <clears throat> oh, I do. I do. I totally do now. Right here. Cool beans. So, one, two, three... No, it's actually one, two, three, yeah. Okay. Ah, da, da, da. Here we go, and then... Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So there you go. There's your quantum link chambers. Okay. I would do more of it, but I'm probably going to have to do off cam to figure out what else I need to do. And I'll explain it to you in the next episode. For sure. So anyways. Next set of items let us make okay we'll make that next the spartial storage this is actually a really really cool item i probably will not use it though because i have no need for it basically what it does is that it takes these items and say uh, for some odd example, you want to take this tree, but you love the design, and you can't remember the design, and you want it placed over there. So you make that multi-block structure around this area, then you take it, like it will copy that, copy that item, like copy where it is at, and then if you make the same multi-block over here, for example, it will literally take that and copy the entire items over here and that's what it does it takes a lot of energy a phenomenal amount of energy to the point where it actually would drain this I think uh, on top of that I don't really necessarily need it the only thing I could possibly need it for is to take a chunk of the end and have a bunch of endermen like spawn there that way I don't have to go to the end in order to get uh, ender pearls. Speaking of which, I had to get a ton of ender pearls earlier today. So, yes, we are going to make that. And each storage cell can hold a capacity of whatever. So 2x3, two it's 2x2x2. Two by two by two. So we'll make this. Bam. Made partial storage cell. And then the pylon. And... That, and then the Spartial I.O. port. And that is it. And it gives you a bunch more. Also, to reduce those costs, you can add more of these uh, pylons to that multi-block structure to reduce, to reduce it phenomenally. So you can actually get it down to like 1 million RF per tick. Supposedly. It all depends on which mod pack you're playing. So, okay, we are finished with this. And I'm just going to check mark stating that I went to it. I, I uh, yeah. Okay, so. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so we're going to make the P2P port. The P2P port is pretty cool. Basically, it allows you to skip, um, like, certain, like, it allows you to skip channels to get to a certain place. That way you don't have to use the channel in between, like, this this uh, ME-dense smart cable. It's 
Interesting. And I'll definitely be using it, but since I'm making all these items, I won't be demonstrating it. So, bam. And then, what else do I have to make? Oh, the memory card. Also, you need a memory card, too, to remember. That's, that's, that's what I needed to do. Make the memory card, bam. And look at that, I make five, jeez. And then, I will just check mark that, because I pretty much explained it. There's other types of P2P tunnels. There's redstone items, like you can actually take fluid, like, hey, I want to put some fluid over here. <clears throat> Connect it over here. It's actually kind of cool. And definitely will be using it. But, uh... I definitely need to make it, too. Hold on. <laughs> F.E. Tunnel. Uh, hold on. How do you... That's a good question. How do you make kinds of pizza? They them right-click certain items on an ME tunnel. They stay the type they pick up with a wrench. Okay, cool. So, I will use this. I believe some redstone. Okay. Take this. Attach to this bad boy. Not like that. I don't know why I did that. It's like, oh wait, actually, yeah. That's how it should be, right? It's kind of neat to connect it to a redstone, right? There you go. Redstone. And there you go. A teleported bread. That's funny. Where does it go? Oh, did it, like, revert back? Huh. Strange. But that's how you do it. And I'm definitely gonna have to... Yeah. Okay, so the next set of items, I'll explain really, really quick. are the packager stuff. Okay, so this stuff right here, we'll not be playing around with for quite a while because what it does, it allows you to auto-craft recipes that use more than nine items. And that is literally towards Endgame. Endgame has a lot of like crazy shenanigans that it has. Um, like, for example, if you wanted to make a... Uh, Instant furnace, where it just instantly cooks stuff, you'll need this. Which, it's a lot of items. And someday, we will get to that point. Uh, but not right now. We are just finishing up Applied Energistics. And probably the next uh, next set of mo the next mod will be Woot. Because I need, I need Ender Pearls, darn it. But anyways, back to what I was doing. Let's make this first. And... I forgot to make that. I don't know how to make that. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay. So, oops. I need a lot of ender pearls for this too. So, we'll make the unpackager first. Put that in there. Put all that stuff in there. Packager next, which... um, I made like 50 of these. Are you kidding? Ay ay ay. Or maybe I just made that part. Okay, the packager next. Bam. And then the package receipt holder. See? Like that made sense uh, unless it's like a different item. Package holder complete and then package receipt, which I'm going to need another crafting table. That's easy. And then, uh, package component, and then package receipt encoder. And there you go. We are done with that. And then over here, I don't know how to make this bad boy. I can make the advanced one, though. So there's, 
So now I've designed a bridge gap. Additionally, while the receipt encoder set the recipe type to the extended crafting block you want a receipt to use it. On the type you want to use it just... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I'll probably do that off-cam. But that's basically the entirety of all applied energistics. So, yes, this is one of the longest episodes ever. Sorry, but I figured I might as well complete the mod. And now that we're pretty much finished, I will pretty much hook up everything. So thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, I live stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 9 to 9.30. Um, usually it's like Warcraft or any other game. Um, sometimes it's Minecraft. Not all the time. But sometimes. But anyways, I hope you all stay safe out there.